you have submitted your report as per exhibit triple M. That is correct. Yep. In this exhibit, I only see the date for the commissioner of oaths, but I don't see the date on which you made this report. He has got five pages. Maybe yeah, you can, can show me. Uh, the date on which I made this report, I issued this report, is the 5th of November, 2023. The date on which it was commissioned is the day on which it became effective. And when was the examination done? The examination I did on the 23rd of July, 2020. So where was this information kept? If the examination, examination was conducted eight years, eight years ago, if I'm calculating correctly. I did not understand the question uh, properly. Where was the information contained in this affidavit kept? If the examination was conducted eight years later and you only completed this affidavit on the 5th of November 2023. It's not the 23rd of July 2020 when the examination was conducted. That is correct. That is the date on which the verification was conducted. And then the affidavit is obviously attested to on the 5th of November 2023. That is correct, my lord. My learned sister says it's eight years. That is not correct. So it means it's how many years? It's three years. It's three years, and I, can, and, and I can explain why. By, can you start by answering my question first? Yes, it's three years. W where was this information kept? From the date of the examination until the date when you made well, this well, affidavit, well, July 2020. Uh, when I verify findings, there's a mandatory worksheet that I must complete. And so it begins. Um, first of all, let me let you know, guys, you're going to hear Mr. Interpreter throughout this video. OK, I know. I know we have an agreement to get him out because he's pointless. I, I, I agree. It's very, very difficult for me to edit him out with Umshololo because they, they, they have a battle. OK, there's a battle of the giants there. He talks over and he wants to interpret every two words. And that's a lot of clips. And that will make this a super huge file. And you know what? So please excuse me in this video video because it's just too much okay Gunini. now another thing i'm going to bring to your urgent attention colonel cereal yes i said colonel cereal not cereal no nope. colonel cereal why you know when you're eating those kellogg's um cornflakes not even the bran flakes the cornflakes and you put your milk and you're chewing and you chew and you chew and you chew okay and you hear that sound yeah that is Colonel Serial. Now, this man, he loves to hear the sound of his voice. He loves to explain. He loves to give reason. And I believe Mshololo's cross-examination, you already know, brilliant. Off the bat, she takes him straight to, now your affidavit is dated 2023. Why? She literally doesn't waste time. And he's that kind of guy, okay? He's that kind of man. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to see him. So I'm not sure age-wise where he is, but I'm going to say he's that that man who doesn't take kindly to a woman asking him questions especially knowing that i'm in a leadership role and you're trying to embarrass me or question me on my role unacceptable so this is why we see this battle of the giants throughout okay there's too many giants here there's the interpreter there's umshololo there's mr serial it is too much so it gets really heated real fast so umshololo goes straight into why is your date not dating? Hmm? What is wrong with your date? But because Mshololo is doing this at such a high-paced um, question and answer session, which I love, thankfully, after complaining about Ramazabili, I, I, I do love this, but she, she can't flow as well as she wants to because of Mr. Interpreter, who just can't keep up. He can't keep up, so he's got to interrupt every two words. And I hate it, okay? I'm going on record saying I hate it. But... It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. We work. We work. We move. So Mshololo says, tell me something. This affidavit of yours, okay, Mr. Serial, is dated the 5th of November, 2023. Which, by the way, guys, was one of my questions. Why is this affidavit dated last year? Huh? After Mangena has come to court. But you know what? Mshololo nailed it. So I thank you, Mshololo. I give you your flowers for asking on that one. Why is it dated the 5th of November 2023? But you did the work. 
the 23rd of July, 2020. Now I'm sure little something happened there. The math didn't math. And she says that was eight years ago. Where were you keeping your results for eight years? Why is there discrepancy in the days, in the dates? And she says eight years, maybe three, four times. Finally, Judge Rutter's like, I can't take it anymore. It is not, it is not eight years, I'm sure little. Okay, can you do the math? Somehow she struggles to do the math. I, I, I'm sure I don't know what was that about. I, I, I don't understand why she was struggling with that. And then she goes, is it, is it three years? I'm sure I don't know. Come on. 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Come on, come on, come on. But you know what? We'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. So and then what happens next? Mr. I love to explain starts off by M. Shola goes, no, 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 no answer the question Bef before you go into your explanations because i know you love your voice and you don't want a woman talking to you and asking you questions and you answering to a woman god forbid there becomes a woman who leads in that department of ballistics and dun dun because that will be the day cereal will have several heart attacks but you know what i digress so she says before you explain just just give me my answer, okay? And then he says, well, to start. <laughs> and then he says, you know, um, there's a mandatory form that I have to fill out. He doesn't really end up answering his question. And Mshololo just moves past. Mshololo is like, oh, you know what? I'm done with you. And she moves past. Next point that Mshololo is going for. Hey, you said, um, you know what? You said you have, you you know what? You said you were declared proficient and competent by whom? Like it is the speed. We all know Mshola is going for qualifications. This time she switched it up a bit. She started off by process and procedures and came right back and said, what's your qualification? So put it on the table and back it up with which institution? <laughs> but you know what? I'm jumping ahead. Let's listen in. I completed that worksheet. Which is affixed to the case file. And then also on page three of this affidavit, paragraph 2.4, you had said you were declared competent and proficient in forensic ballistic examination. By who and when were you declared? I was declared competent by forensic ballistics training. So it's an in-house declaration? That is correct. It's an organized system. Uh, which consists of functionaries. Uh, those functionaries will be the training manager, the operational commander, the quality manager. So those functionaries, they, 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 they represent the institution. So I was declared competent by the institution, not, not a particular person. So which institution was that? Forensic Ballistics, as it reports under Forensic Science Laboratory. Lieutenant, when you were testifying, you did not only testify on the CVs of the causes contained in paragraph two, you further elaborated on the experience that you have at the ballistic. Am I correct? That is correct. As a result of that, my questions are not going to be contained in this report that you have submitted because you went outside the scope of the report and the qualifications and experience contained in this report. Do you understand? Yes, I hear you. Yes. So I'm going to ask you firstly about the procedures to be followed at the lab, at the forensic laboratory in the receiving of the exhibit, since you are the experienced analyst, chief analyst. It's the what did I say about Colonel Serial? Michololo is really, really, really going to get on his last nerve. Not Michololo taking his title and using it against him like that. Since you are the experienced chief analyst, Mr. Leader over there at the ballistics and Don Donny Lab. <laughs> Shalala just made my absolute day. That is crazy. And you know what? I see what you're doing, Shalala. Keep going. Apply pressure. Don't stop. <laughs> And let's see how Mr. I am the chief experienced analyst. I've been working there since 1997 and I do the administration. Yeah. 
Time to tell us about the procedures over there, Mr. Serial. Let's give him the mic. Yes, I, I hear that. Yes, can you, can you explain to me the, the procedure that is followed or even if it's not the procedure, how the exhibits are received at the forensic laboratory the lab into, the, into the administration system? The exhibits come sealed in evidence bags. They are submitted or lodged at the administration system of the whole forensic science laboratory. Uh, the members at the the members at that subsection will receive those exhibits and acknowledge the the receipt. A registration will be done in respect of those exhibits. Furthermore, those subsequent to that, those exhibits will be distributed to to various uh, sections of the forensic science laboratory of those subsections. But we also have uh, another provision relating to the submission of exhibits. It sometimes happens that analysts go out to do field work, like where they attend crime scenes, for example, yes, or where they examine uh, exhibits outside the forensic science laboratory, like motor vehicles, it could be doors, it could be broken uh, house windows, and so on. Uh, those exhibits, uh, the procedure will not be the same as the, the, the analysts are allowed to come back with all those kind of exhibits. So, meaning that what I try to indicate is that there are exceptions to the standard rule. So those, yes. those exceptions, when they come into place, they will dictate whether a, a small deviation will be made with regard to the standard rule. For example, when a vehicle is examined, it's outside the lab. We may have exhibits like vehicle tires, which must come. They are not in a sealed state. Oh. There, there are various uh, situations, some of which I'm unable to recall immediately where I'm standing. That may dictate or call for uh, a small deviation from the standard course. If the exhibit is received as the ballistic administration in an open cell bag, can that, can that exhibit be accepted by the ballistic? If it is brought by the investigative officer, it depends who, who is coming with that exhibit. But it is, if, if it comes via the investigating officer or the member of local criminal record center, or their representatives, not be accepted. In this case, the firearm that was uh, examined in this case, or the firearm in question here, was booked out by an analyst and he allocated himself this firearm to do the examination. Is that the procedure at the ballistic unit? As I've already indicated, I think it's important that the question be put in its proper perspective. I mean, just to merely say the exhibit was booked out by the um, analyst to be examined by himself without giving the background that might give a wrong impression to the witness. Should I proceed, my lord? Yeah. Thank you. This has got to be my absolute favorite part, okay? The part where... <laughs> Judge Rata gives the part where Judge Rata just gives my lawyer a blue check mark. Zui looks to the side, looks to the right, looks to the left. He just keeps breathing. <laughs> this is the national prosecutor, sir. Sir! Sir, somebody nudge Rata. What is going on? Shalala too, she looks to the side, looks to the left, and then she realized my lord is not going to say anything unprovoked. So Mshalala says, for the win, Mshalala says, should I proceed, my lord? And he says, yes, and Mshalala goes straight into it without missing a beat. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to ignore the national prosecutor, Valoi, as he inserts himself. It was as if Amshalala would have said, Ungenapi, Ungenapi. <laughs> that was a priceless moment. And you know what? I'll probably turn it into a short. That was hilarious. That needs to live rent free on the internet, okay? Because it now lives rent free in my mind. Because what? Judge Rata ignored completely Valoi. Now, Okay, let's just see what Baloi wanted. Um, he really just wanted attention. Yeah, we'll just put it down to that. And he says, well, it's not fair that Umshololo... I, I 
actually thought Mshirel was being so diplomatic. And I, I, I was like, why is she being so diplomatic? It's Mangela. Mangena. Mangena. And you know what? And Baloi calls her out. And Mshirel is like, I don't, we do not care. And then I guess what that um, glu -glu do, um, Mr. Serial does. Guess what he does? Of course, Baloi has empowered him. And now... He goes on with his chewing his cereal. Can you answer my question, sir? Uh, this question, I need to understand under which circumstances was that done. As I've already indicated that uh, we don't have a situation of one size fits all. There might be, uh, there might be situations or circumstances which call for a deviation from the standard rule. To be able to understand, to be able to answer this question, I must know exactly what happened, everything, so that I can put my answer in the correct context. Okay. Can you go to Exhibit 13C? It's the exhibit of Kellen Mandel, Lieutenant Kellen Mandel. Oh. Exhibit 13C. So that you can see the background of my question. I will start on on paragraph 3 of Exhibit 13C, which says on Tuesday, 14 July 2020, during the performance of my official duties, I opened a seal bag with number PA500154134, marked inter alia, 4th Loras case 636-10-14, found in case file with lab number 217-267-14, 4th Loras case 363 slash 10 slash 2014 containing the following exhibits so i'm going to spare you the boredom of hearing all about 369tb1 all over again the cartridges so mshololo goes over um mangana colonel mangana's um affidavit and what he did on the 14th of july 2020 and how you know he did all those things all those things we already know we've covered them several times on this channel so mshololo goes through all that she reads it for him and then she gets the colonel to to, you know now that i've given you the background that you so desperately need before you give us a final answer here's what i'm gonna need you to do i now need you to answer the question so i'm sure Lola says on the 14th of july 2020 the firearm had not been received at the lab at that time okay it was only um the two bullets from ruloff which was tb1 and tb2 and you know Mangana didn't like the results. They were inconclusive and said, you know what? I have a very, very bright idea. I can just go to Cleveland. I can just go to Cleveland and just pick and choose a firearm. Um, you know, so I'm sure says the respective analyst then went to Cleveland. Again, she gives Mangana that respect. Anonymousness. I don't know why. But yeah, that's something that she seemed to want to lead with. And then, you know, Mangena goes over to the Cleveland station and books out an entire firearm in an open sealed bag. Again, thank you, Mshalala, for asking the questions that I and the members of the jury have had burning, okay, in the comment section. Now, then she says, you know what? My question is, as an analyst who is about to examine something and then you find that your results are inconclusive and then the next day you go to cleveland to collect the firearm in an open sealed bag is that even normal and then judge Rutter says stop it with the hypothetical situations okay call it like it is it's mangana okay so i'm gonna stop here so that the video isn't too long let's make sure to uh, like comment and subscribe if you get the videos up to um mm, not the videos so make sure you like this video please let's get to a thousand likes with a thousand likes i will drop a part two and we'll get to see what happens with judge rata and 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 mr serial does he dig his um 
coffin. No. Does he dig his grave deeper than 24 feet? Um, does, he div- does he dig his coffin? Does he dig his coffin? Is he able to answer Um Shololo with why are you guys working with open sealed bags, Mr. Serial, lead chief analyst? Is that part of the procedures? You know already. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you absolutely have my heart. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video as well to the last three people you chatted with, even your co-workers. Let them watch this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next upload.